Our program spans a little bit more than 100 years, starting with Josef Reinberger's Drei Geistliche Gesänge. Uh, very much about nature. The first one, Morgenlied, is about the beauty of the morning, the birds singing, and how God creates this beautiful morning. The second, Hymne, is um, uh, about how God rules the earth and He's created everything and He's in charge of everything. The third one, Abendlied, is about the evening. And it's actually from the Bible where Jesus, after his uh, death and crucifixion, where he walks alongside the disciples and they don't recognize him. And he asks, why are you so sad? Well, haven't you heard our master Jesus has died? And they don't recognize him. And then he starts talking to them and he invites, they invite him to have um, supper with them. So, and then finally they recognize him. So this is the Abendlied. And then we'll continue with uh, even more romantic music, Richard Strauss, an early piece. His uh, beautiful motet, uh, Der Abend, again about the evening. And it's about a sunset and it's uh, drawing up on Greek mythology about the sun god Phoebus descending down into the ocean, uh, meeting the sea god Tetis. So it's a love meeting between Phoebus and Titus. Then it's Ingvar Liedholm, the Swedish composer, uh, Arriva Dale Stelle, maybe his biggest a cappella piece. It's uh, a text uh, apart from Dante's Divina Commedia, by the end where uh, Virgil, uh, who leads uh, the storyteller, they have been down into uh, hell, but then they come back up again and they pass through purgatory and through the hole, they see the sky and the stars once more. They haven't seen the stars for a long time, and now they see the stars. Arriva der le stelle to again see the stars, and there's that magical moment. And then, maybe the most difficult piece of all, it's a challenging program, is Poulenc's, Francis Poulenc's uh, Figure Humaine. The text is by Paul Eliard, the great French poet, written during German occupation of France, and Paul Eliard was part of the resistance movement against the Germans. And they, uh, Figure Men, the texts, are all about uh, resistance, all about vengeance, revenge for uh, the occupation, and that we will someday be free. These texts were smuggled to Poulenc, and he set it to music, and then it was taken out of the smuggle, out of the country, across uh, to England, where the BBC, symphony, uh, the BBC chorus uh, premiered it and it was radio broadcast so the entire France could hear it. So it's very difficult. Poulenc's harmonies are very intricate, uh, very much jazz-like influenced, gorgeous beautiful harmonies but difficult. They're so precise and so delicate and it's sometimes very fast, very virtuosic singing. So therefore it's a challenge for any chorus to sing this piece. It's known to be one of the more difficult pieces. I, I have found that I connect really well with this chorus. It's wonderful to be able to work on such a high level and work on small beautiful details and polish things, bring subtleties out of the music. Uh, so to start on a very high level and then take it even further, it's always a great pleasure for me.